Left Hand Brewing in Longmont, Colorado, recently turned 25 years old at a time of increased competition in the beer industry and from wine and spirits. Business at one of America's top craft beer brewers is good, but Left Hand is also expanding its horizons in China, the world's largest beer market. I love China. Uh, the people are great. The food's spectacular. Uh, the beer scene is really starting to in, come into its own. It's one of the largest stout markets in the world. Earlier this year, Chris Leonard's company began shipping beer to China. He says it represents a big part of Left Hand's export future. Then came China's tariff on imported alcoholic beverages. The price of his product has shot up. Customers are waiting for orders. They can't get the orders. And when they get the order, it's more expensive. It's not a great thing for us. Leonard says trade tensions between the U.S. and China have directly affected his business. Like the background hum of the crowds at Denver's Great American Beer Festival, tariffs are now part of the backdrop for craft beer brewers. Not hugely concerning at this point, but they can't be ignored either. Would we like to see low tariffs or no tariffs? Of course we would. Kevin Hopkins helps run Mother Earth Brewing, which exports beer to 13 countries. China is one of its newest markets. The tariff has not hit this brewery just yet. At this time, it's still not a major impact to us. We're able to roll with those punches. I don't think from an industry standpoint, we're going to see a major, major shift. But there's confusion and uncertainty among beer makers when it comes to the trade issue. Epic Brewing has exported to China in the past and wouldn't mind doing so again. If we start to have more active discussions to export again to China, that tariff's gonna be huge. And in fact, if it happens, I think it becomes, just makes us not even competitive and not an interesting supply partner for China. U.S. tariffs on imported steel and aluminum have already hurt brewers who package their own beers. Labor and freight costs have also gone up. Tariffs could boost beer prices and export markets even further. Well, we'll know in a year because the consumer will tell us whether or not they're still going to purchase the product. And unfortunately, it's kind of taken us out by the knees. I'm hoping that this is a short-term thing. This beer style is more popular than ever in the U.S., as demonstrated by Denver's Beer Show. But expanding American craft beer's presence in China, as that market is taking off, may now be a bit more challenging. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.